What's up guys, we will YouTube here, back with another video. So my sneak peek has come to an end, and I will be doing a report on that soon. But today I wanted to do another episode of Rules of the Game. So I've done three episodes already uh, to do with, you know, chain links, uh, missing the timing, and various things like that. But today I want to talk about an issue which has come up a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh! and at local tournaments that I've been attending, which is pretty much that people get confused sometimes about whether or not a monster's, you know, ability to sum special summon itself from the hand, or whatever that may be, or from the graveyard, is an effect or is a summoning condition and I'm just going to clear up precisely how you can figure that out by reading the text of the card in this video. Okay so I first brought this up when I made a video about Mind Drain. I basically suggested that Mind Drain was extremely effective against the meta because it enabled you to negate the effects of monsters which activated in the hand which enabled them to be special summoned. So the likes of Mermaid of this Megalo, High Priest as a Prophecy, the Unmelted Dragons if they activate in the hand, Poseidon the Atlantean Dragon if it activates in the hand and so forth hand traps, effect failure, max C, things like that. And none of that would work while Mind Drain was on the field. And I kind of just said it in a very matter-of-fact way, I didn't really explain why it was, but in this video I'm basically going to be explaining how you can pick it out from the text of the card, whether something is an ignition effect or it is a summoning condition. Okay, so let's look at monsters uh, which meet these uh, examples perfectly. So Mermaid of this Megalo I've been talking about to death, and the reason is because it is so effective in the meta right now, simply because the likes of Thunder King Ryo, the likes of Solemn Judgment, Cards which have pretty much become all but obsolete in the meta right now are completely ineffective against Merman this Megalo and all other monsters of his type that special summon in this way. So his card text reads, you can discard two other water monsters to the graveyard, semicolon, special summon this card from your hand. And then the rest of it is just the searching and the attacking twice, etc. So the important fact about this is that when they started to standardize the reprinting of cards or the printing of cards in general, they had to differentiate between whether a monster's uh, special summoning requirements were conditions, uh, in which case they didn't start chains and you couldn't respond with the likes of Max C, for example, to bouncing for a Graffa, or whether they were ignition effects, uh, in which case you had a semicolon separating the cost and the activation of the effect. So of course we have other examples, as I mentioned before, High Priestess of Prophecy is a very good example. You can reveal three spell spell cards in your hand, semicolon, special summons card from your hand. Uh, you also see it with the likes of Sushi, beside the Atlantean Dragon, all the Elemental Dragons. I actually tried to upload an image of them in English um, because I got a couple of them at the sneak peek, but unfortunately the scanner is being a bit annoying, so I'll actually have to do that later. Nevertheless, you get the picture and you can find all the examples on the wiki page. Uh, more importantly, and this is basically a testament to card design, is examples of monsters that do not meet these requirements, older cards in general, and these are all summoning conditions rather than ignition effects. Okay, so the first example I'm going to be talking about is Evil Swarm Mandragora. Somebody actually mentioned this in a comment in a video asking if Evil Swarm Mandragora was susceptible to the likes of Max C or things of this nature. And the answer is that no, it is not, unless you can somehow anticipate that your opponent is going to special summon a Mandragora and during the open game state, drop your Max C. Because basically what it says is if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. This is actually a testament to old card design, because although Evil Swarm Mandragora has been just released in the TCG, Evil Swarms have been a deck in the OCG for, uh, I'm guessing, a couple of years. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, so for that reason, it has slightly older card design in terms of its text, and it hasn't yet been... It was at a time when card texts weren't yet standardised. So you can imagine people nowadays getting a little bit more confused because they think that all the card texts will be fairly standardised, and they think all these cards will be treated in the same way, and that you will be able to chain Maxi to the, you know, the activation of Magigora's effect. But in actual fact, the effect doesn't activate. It is simply a summoning condition. The same thing goes for the likes of Legendary Six Samurai Kazan and Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind, which are examples of older cards, and whether they've been reprinted or not, their texts have been standardised to the point where you can actually recognise whether they are summoning conditions or ignition effects which activate in the hand. So there is equally as easy a way to tell whether something is a summoning condition based on the text of the card. If we look at Graffa, it says, you can special summon this card from your graveyard by returning one face of Dark World Monster you control to the hand, except Graffa. The way cards have been printed nowadays is the following. If it is an ignition effect, it will tell you about the cost of the card and place a semicolon to separate the cost from the activation of the effect. Whereas if it is a summoning condition, it will mention the special summoning of the card first. This is a very simplistic way of looking at it, but honestly, given how consistently cards are printed nowadays, it is actually a really good way of determining, at least on first glance, whether something is a summoning condition or an ignition effect. There are, of course, more ambiguous examples. From the likes of Graffa and the likes of Light Pulsar Dragon, Dark Flare Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon, uh, Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind, Legendary Six Samurai Kazan, etc. All of these effects are summoning conditions and not ignition effects. So that is a really easy way to figure it out and I highly suggest you try it with any cards that will come out in the future and cards that are pretty old, perhaps that have been out for a while. 
and you may be able to decode these cards far more easily in a game. Okay, so in summary, we have recognition effects. The cost is mentioned first, separated by a semicolon, and then it will say special summon this card. These special summons do start chains, so you will be able to use the likes of Maxi and any other cards you want to use that are spell speed 2 or higher against these effects in response. Um, second of all, we have summoning conditions. You can special summon this card from your hand, grave, etc., by, and then it will mention a specific condition. So the ability to special summon the monster is mentioned first, after which the cost is mentioned separated using by or two or some word like that. And these special summons do not start chains. Okay guys, that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. And let me know what you think of this series. If there are any other rules you were unsure about, please let me know, and I'll be happy to go over them in a separate video. As I said, plenty more stuff coming up soon, including a review of my sneak peek, which actually didn't go too well. From 10 packs, I only pulled one super rare card, which wasn't that great at all. As well as a discussion of the top five decks of the format, probably one at a time, or I might do two at a time. I haven't really decided yet. But uh, decks that I believe are going to be either tier one or tier zero, and ways to combat them in the meta. So. That's it guys, talk to you guys later, peace out.